Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Francis Dubay from Zen Graphene. How are you today, Francis? I'm very well, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Well, I would say you're well. You're you actually your stock is up 65% here this last month, and it's all on news. It's a, it's a hard-earned, you know, news put out valuations increasing as perceived by shareholders. We love stories like this. Thank you. Yeah, we have a couple of patents in there and a new partnership with the Royal Canadian Navy. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's real developments that we've been working on for months that are all sort of coming together. Uh, we're pretty excited where the company's uh, positioned now. And of course, let's start with that. You recently partnered with uh, Evercloak to test graphene oxide dehumidification membrane technology with a deal you've made with the uh, uh, Canadian Navy. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's so, uh, one of our most exciting projects. We actually um, uh, work with NGEN. NGEN is a, uh, a federal program that funds partnerships in the Canadian uh, business world uh, to work together. And the, uh, the supplies of funding to both of us, uh, uh, ourselves and Evercloak. Uh, Evercloak's technology basically removes moisture in the air before it gets into the uh, air conditioning units. And when you do that, you're actually able to cut down the electrical requirements of the air conditioning by up to 75%. It's a huge saving, and it's a technology based on graphene oxide. So the partnership was just a very natural one to, to do here. Okay, so I'm going to have you dumb that down for our audience. What does that actually mean? What is Zen Graphene's role in that? I have a fairly, I think I have a good guess about what that is, but we have a lot of new investors out there. They've got their own uh, new online accounts. They're trying to understand what graphene technology is. And of course, they're all seeing Zen Graphene every time they look up graphene online. Tell us what that actually means. All right. So from a practical perspective, we can make a membrane that is based on our material, graphene oxide, and uh, and that material now enables a new technology, completely novel technology, that filters out the moisture in the air before this air gets into the air conditioning unit. So if you remove the water from the air, the air conditioning unit now is uh, running a lot, e lot, lot less power. We can actually have a smaller unit and the maintenance required is a lot lower. So if you can cut down the electrical load by 75%, and uh, so, yeah, so there's a lot of places in the world where they can't, they don't have enough electricity to run an air conditioning unit right now. We might be able to now enable those places to have air conditioning. In the places where we are, where we do have enough air conditioning, we could reduce the amount of air conditioning uh, energy requirements by 75%. We know how much electricity we use in the summertime. We actually have, you know, rolling brownouts here in Toronto because the electrical electrical cons, uh, consumption is so high. So this is a massive invention. They got an NRCAN award for this invention, and we're very happy to be partnering with them on this journey. Well, let me add an additional practical note, or at least this would be my assumption. When I saw that you had made a deal with the Royal Canadian Navy, we're assuming then that you have security clearance for additional military contracts. <laughs> we've, gone, we've gone through some vetting processes, yes. Fantastic. So, next on our list, because trying to keep up with your news flow is fantastic. Every public company should be as lucky as Zen Graphene shareholders currently feel. You made an announcement recently about Zen Graphene and Guelph University researchers recently filed a patent on graphene oxide production method. All right. Obviously, there's a lot here. Would you like to just walk us through this news release and give us kind of a what happened? What does this mean? So the traditional way of making graphene oxide is you would take graphite and use very high oxidizing chemicals to break it apart into single layers and increase the amount of oxygen on the surface or on the edges of the graphite layers. This takes uh, things like phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, very nasty chemicals, okay? It's producing a lot of effluent that you have to deal with after that. So from an environmental standpoint, there's issues there. Our process here that we patented with Guelph University creates a completely new way of making graphene oxide. We take our material, we make an anode out of it, 
We have a customized bath of um, solution that we dip this uh, anode in and then we run a current through it. Now this breaks apart the graphene, um, the graphite into graphene oxide in a way that's very environmentally friendly and at a cost that's a fraction of the current methods of making graphene oxide. So we're getting both a benefit from a cost of manufacturing perspective and we're doing it in a way that's much better for Mother Earth. Well, I'll tell you, Francis, as always, it's a pleasure to get an update from Zen Graphene. There you have it, Investor Intel. That's an update on the last two news releases. Thank you. Thank you.